giant slalom was a really big um, yeah, surprise for me uh, with uh, the third um, place. Uh, that means 60 points on my um, World Cup account and that is uh, really positive. But uh, on the other side it is, um, yeah, sometimes we have to think about what's going on. The next uh, US boy is uh, that fast and uh, the rest of the world is uh, the only thing we can do is uh, watch and uh, yeah, um, say oh my god they are so good. That's the only thing we can do right now and uh, we have to push it harder and harder and um, yeah, look forward. That's the uh, thing what I can say today. I mean, I'm really happy about the third place, but the time isn't good. It's, uh, it's always a little bit tough with, with the two run events because you feel like after the first run, I felt like I'd already won, and a lot of people were, you know, congratulating me. And you know, you just Ted even said it in between runs. He said he hasn't he hasn't got second yet. My daughter was like, he got second place, and Ted was like, not yet. And uh, <laughs> that, that's the uh, you know that's the real challenge of ski racing is it doesn't let up. And you know, I when I was at the start, I really it's easy to get nostalgic because I've been at the start of this race before and I've, you know, I know the feelings, I know the emotions and, you know, I'm in a different place now and I felt like I really wanted to enjoy it. So, you know, even though I took maybe a little bit too much risk and made some mistakes, but um, I really wanted to ski 100% and that's why I did the work I did in the summer and you know, I'm ready to ski as hard as I can now. I think, you know, to be able to beat somebody like Ted, that's what you have to do. You have to be able to go absolutely 100% top to bottom with no, you know, no mistakes and no fatigue and I think you know, today I have the, the fitness is there, we just added the timing in uh, to not make the mistakes and we'll be there. I mean, the first step is getting uh, getting a start position. I mean, it's, today was, you know, almost that whole gap was just from the first round and running in the first group makes a huge difference. But, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting on the harder, more difficult hills. Um, you know, this is, a, this is a tough hill to, to make speed on and to try to close a gap. So I knew after the first round that it was probably unlikely to beat Ted. He's just a really clutch performer in those kind of situations. But um, I wanted to make sure that when I got to the finish line, I at least let him know that, that I was coming for him and that he had to, there's no coasting. You know, both, both Ted and Marcel, you know, I, I never, I wasn't skiing well in, in the tech events when they were coming on strong. And both of them have taken the tech events to a level that I don't think we've seen before with Ted just being, it looks so effortless when he skis and just, you know, absolutely annihilates guys and, and Hersher and Slalom is so explosive and dynamic and, you know, I, I always say that I love Slalom and GS as much as any other event, if not more, and, you know, I want to I wanna be fast and everyone always laughs at me and tells me I should quit and just ski speed and, um, yeah, it is a little bit of redemption today to show that I'm coming back in GS and I think I can do it in Slalom too, that's why I'm I'm so skinny now. I'm all aerodynamic and snappy. So um, the idea is to be to be able to ski four events the way that I like to do it. It's awesome, especially you know in the U.S. and having a bunch of friends and family here is a lot of a lot of fun. So it's great to be able to perform in front of them and then you know share the podium with uh, with Bodhi is awesome. I'm I'm a little bit surprised actually. He probably doesn't like it. Are you? Are that. you? But. Um, yeah, it's impressive how he was able to bring his intensity up and you know put down some impressive runs. So that's cool to be able to have another American guy, you know, challenging me up there. Conditions are tough, especially you know the visibility is really tough, especially with so much snow in the track. You really couldn't tell where the good snow was and where the soft snow was. So that was definitely an issue, but it was kind of the same for everybody. So it was what it was, and you just went for it. When I have you know second and some lead, it makes it a little more comfortable. But you know in a ski race you're never that comfortable with any lead because a small little bump here or there that you don't really foresee is uh, can easily knock you off course. So you never can get too comfortable with, with a lead no matter what. But, um, you know, the way I've been skiing Giant Saw in the last year and a half or so, I think, uh, you know, I have a lot of confidence in my ability to put down a fast run. So I have confidence in, in the, my ability to win, but I don't think it's a sure thing, that's for sure.